Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Cash. Thank you so much again for joining me here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. One more look here at ICPC and what's going on here on a Friday afternoon. Uh, we got Bitcoin at close to 63,000, kind of holding below that, that 63K range, having some difficulty maintaining 63 plus. That does factor in here to this coin. So if we take a look at ICP, it's been struggling on the way up compared to Bitcoin and how well Bitcoin has been performing. Um, I would say ICP is lackluster as of late. However, today, so far, up good 4%. We'll see if that can hold. But more importantly, we're respecting this descending trend line until we break free from that. I wouldn't presume we're going to be, you know, in a good place just yet. Okay, so we got a little while before we potentially see that breakout for ICP. However, we want to look at some important stuff on the back end, kind of just double check a few things. We'll kind of go from there. So if you're new to the channel, I just want to say thanks again so much for joining me here. I hope you have a fantastic day. Let's go ahead and um, double check a couple of things. Um, oh, go ahead and hit that like button if you get a chance. Deeply appreciate it. So before we get started here, I like to look at liquidation, just kind of get some back-end data, see what's going on first, and recognize here that, hey, $9, $9.50, $10, there's a lot of liquidation above the price, more so above than below as far as you know, closer, if we will. Now, when it comes to liquidation, it's never a guarantee it's going to go there. It just tells us that, hey, they got a lot of people shorting around $9, and there's a decent chance we could see the price revisit that area. But if you look at the overall sentiment here, we're fairly in the middle of a large amount of liquidation. So we got a decent chunk from 920 to 950 above us, and then a 650 concentration down below. I think it's less likely for the price to come down to that level unless Bitcoin makes a run towards what, 60, 59,000, somewhere in that range. So I think we're in pretty good shape here with ICP for the moment. The overall sense here is that, um, you know, this is not a super telling uh, indicator here. What is telling, and I'll, I'll double check this here as well, is some of the moving averages that we were looking at previously, because I know we are struggling to break above certain ones, and so far we are. We are maintaining above the 50 and the 20 day SMA, that's good. Once again, I mentioned previously that invalidation level is about that 760 mark. And then if we do take a look here, we can also see everything else is looking pretty, pretty decent as far as moving averages are concerned. Okay, now what we want to double check too, is once again, this TSI and see that we are well above that zero line, basically giving us good momentum. We can also see MACD is trying to converge here, but hasn't yet. We got a nice little bounce potentially. And then obviously we're over 50 in the RSI. So those are good confirming factors, letting us know we haven't broken bearish on the daily time frame. We're looking overall pretty good here in the overall sense. So my speculation is that we're in decent shape on the macro and that we might see some shifts in momentum in those smaller time frames, but we want to pay attention to some key levels such as support and resistances, okay? So what we'll have to do probably, let's double check, do we need to redraw our fibs? No, those fibs are still working. Let's go ahead and um, double check a couple of things here, okay? Now the four hour time frame is like a transitionary time frame, kind of helping us understand where the price action might go next. Now, the truth is stochastic is, is swinging down. We've seen that on a lot of other coins. And the same thing here with MACD, kind of losing momentum, but hasn't diverged yet. So these are generally not bad at all. I don't really read into them unless there's other confirming factors. So I wouldn't be super concerned with the, the price action of ICP, but I would also urge you to be cautious because of how poorly the price action has responded. Like if you take a look at just say like Avalanche, SUI, Solana, most coins went straight up when Bitcoin did. And anytime Bitcoin corrected, they just pretty much continued without looking back. ICP on the other hand, it, it pulls back pretty hard and aggressive every time I, a Bitcoin does. So that leads me to believe if Bitcoin does retrace a little bit further, we will absolutely see the price wick down and get fairly aggressive to the downside. However, we have a lot of supporting factors. We've got all moving averages here on the four hour time frame. Uh, we're over 50 in the RSI. There's a lot of contributing factors, more positive than negative. Okay. So I just wanted to be realistic with you that you know this is not great performance, but it's also not abysmal either. And um, the truth is, this is kind of the way the market's moving right now. A lot of vaults are starting to come down a little more aggressive with Bitcoin in the last 24 to 48 hours. Let's take a quick look at the Ichimoku cloud. We can confirm on the hourly here that we're in pretty good shape. Uh, the, the cloud is uh, basically below the price action. Conversion lines over the baseline, a lag expense free and clear. So there's all reasons here to leave your long position open, not to really consider securing even profit on a long, because there's more likelihood the price will go up than down. Once again, we take a look at this chart and we compare it with ICP. ICP's got some pretty aggressive knee-jerk reactions to the downside when Bitcoin is performing, um, you know, Bitcoin goes sideways, ICP is like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. And it just goes down. So you got to recognize that that is a factor here. So the overall sense here is that ICP is not fantastic um, as far as performance versus Bitcoin, but it is still honoring its own ascending trends and working well within its own margins. 
So I think even though it's not fully independent of Bitcoin and it is responding poorly when Bitcoin pulls back, it's starting to find its bottom and it is still establishing higher highs and higher lows. Until we discontinue this, this progression, we have to presume it's going to continue. Okay, so again, that's kind of how trends work. And I would say if you're ever going to you know, trust anything, trust the trend, uh, especially that's why these trend lines are drawn on the charts, is to give us perspective of you know, how the coin's doing, because establishing higher highs and higher lows is a big part of the, the overall situation here. And this is a really good sign. So me personally, even though we don't have a phenomenal, like this is not like the best case scenario, it's still a much better case scenario than majority of other coins that are performing poorly or neutral, but also just compared to the overall sentiment in the market. So my speculation here is that ICB will continue to establish its direction and maintain its direction. We just gotta give it time to, to see if that happens or not. When it comes to key levels here, we can recognize as well, if we look at kind of a little bit larger time frame, just to kind of give you some perspective. When we since, ever since we've been in this range, the largest amount of point of control or you know, the most control we have Obviously, is that 730 range. We talked about that previously. But secondary to that, we got 825 as a solid support there for based on volume. So if we zoom in a little bit, we can kind of see here that 825 is really close to this 0 0.382 FIB level. So there's a solid chance we're going to see a bounce here and continue to honor our ascending trend. Anyway, I'll go ahead and post our playout chart here on our Twitter, Telegram, and Discord. That's available here. It looks a little something like this if you're not familiar. Where I just kind of give you my my two cents on what where I think coins are going to be going, and if you're part of our community, of course, make sure you tune into our trade alerts section where I provide you with detailed analysis on coins that I cover. These usually become trade signals, and again, as far as signals are concerned, congrats to our community here for some nice profits from a Solana long 68%, and we had what an AVAX short um, a few days ago. Okay, so again, not a ton of trades here recently. We didn't trade going really much into the Fed meeting. And I had a couple of days where I, I wasn't able to access my channel here recently. So there's that too. I'll upload a video later explaining what happened there. I hope you all have a good rest of your day though. I deeply appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.